As the current financial year inches closer to its end, this is your last opportunity to save tax on your income this year. After 31st March, taxpayers won't be able to use different tax saving instruments to reduce taxes on their income. So here is a last moment checklist to make the optimum use of tax saving tools before 31st March. Health insurance. If you've bought health insurance for yourself but not your family members, this is the right time to buy it. Buying health insurance for your family can help you save some extra bucks. As per Section 80C of the Income Tax Act, you are eligible for tax benefits of up to 1.5 lakhs if you are paying insurance premiums for a medical insurance plan. Similarly, if your elderly parents are covered under a health insurance policy, it is possible to claim a tax discount of Rs 50,000 per year under Section 80D. In case your parents are younger than 60, you are still eligible for a tax discount of Rs 25,000 rupees per year. Charity not an investment option, but surely an option to contribute to the welfare of society and save on taxes at the same time. Under Section 80G, you can claim a deduction for any income donated to charitable organizations. Cash donations, however, are exempt from such claims. Public Provident Fund PPF is a good choice for pension, but that's not all that it is good for. It is also a good tool for other long-term goals like buying a house or for a child's education. If you are planning to invest in your child's education, you can create a minor PPF account under your child's name. The invested amount under 1 lakh a year will not be taxed. National Pension Scheme Under Section 80 CCB of the IT Act, you can extend your deductions by an additional 50,000 rupees under the NPS. NPS subscribers can also switch from one fund manager to another. Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana account you can earn a decent interest while saving for your daughter at an early stage with the help of an SSY account. According to the Income Tax Act, the investments made in the SSY scheme are not eligible for deductions till a ceiling of Rs 1.5 lakh. The interest accrued on the deposit in the account is exempt from tax under Section 10 of the Income Tax Act. Moreover, the amount withdrawn on maturity is also exempt from income tax. Fixed Deposits Investors don't need to pay any tax on invested amount, interest earned and maturity amount. Applicants can claim benefits under Section 80C of the IT Act. Senior Citizen Savings Scheme With a minimum deposit of Rs 1,000 and a maximum deposit of Rs 15 lakhs, senior citizens can save up to 1.5 lakh rupees. Apart from those who have attained 60 years of age, 55 year old can also open the account if they have retired under superannuation, VRS or special VRS. National Savings Certificate the minimum deposit for a national savings certificate is 1000 rupees without any maximum deposit limit. Account holders can also take loans on this account savings. To avail the benefits, taxpayers need to show the interest as income and then claim an income tax rebate to avail of the benefits under this investment scheme. People can use this investment instrument to attain two goals of long-term investment and life cover in a single move and can claim reductions under Section 80C. Equity Linked Savings Scheme ELSS offers tax exemption of up to Rs. 1,50,000 under Section 80C of the IT Act. 